What's going on, you guys? Steph, back with another video, man. Man, good topic I want to talk about. And this is a DJ Academics one. Uh, I was watching DJ Vlad and Ak was talking about, uh, you know, relationships today and how a lot of these women are acting, you know, because, um, you know, they idolize these Britney Renners, these Black Chinas, Amber Rose, Aries, uh, who else, man? You know, all these, these uh, the, the Christian Rocks and all that stuff. And all Act was really ta uh, explaining on how they idolize these women. And, and honestly, too, I'm going to say most, I cannot say all. Most they, they they characterize or they idolize these women, and and, he, and and it really shows that like you know this social media era of uh, dating and meeting women is just completely bad because it's like the way these women um, even talk to men attitude you know curse they curse like dudes every single day and it's honestly really disgusting man you know i was on um i i usually like meditate before i like get on the internet but i i seen on twitter and um the chick lotto i mean she was right for you know flipping out but the way she was talking oh if you throw something at me again i'm gonna fight you and then turn around and start twerking you know what I'm saying? And then when, you know, women seeing that because that's hitting, like, on Twitter, like, 2.5 million views, half of the, I'll say, like, this, 75% of those women are watching that, and they seeing that, and they're projecting that, and they start acting like that. And it's, like, really disrespectful, man. And, you know, especially to someone like me who's seeing this in his neighborhood. I, I'm uh, I, I remember even seeing women just, just just talking with this nasty attitude, and it's just like it's really disgusting. And you, as a man, you gotta ask yourself: Do you want this in your life? Do you really want like those type of women who who want to fight like dudes and have a mouth like them? Do you want to bring that around your peers, your family? Um you know, even co-workers at your job, you feel like that's appropriate. And a lot of guys, man, today, they'll say, no, I don't want to deal with that. And honestly, too, what Ak was really saying is like, and a lot of guys do this, is they attract these type of women. You know, they see it on the internet, like, yeah, like, you know, she's bad, she's twerking it, you know what I'm saying, she looking good. You know, it's, it's, it's fat back there. But when you see that, the, the persona and the attitude come out, you you bring that in your world and it's like so much drama and chaos. And, you know, this is why, you know, the red pill really exists today, you know, because a lot of men see it and they bring it in their house, but they ignore those red flags and then now you got a bunch of problems, especially too for an everyday average man. You know, everyday average man, man, you know, as soon as that girl break up, even if you have kids by that girl, man, you're going to feel it in your pockets and you're going to feel it with the stress. Because of you not understanding who this woman is, man, right? And, you know, I'm not trying to disrespect um, any content creators, but, you know, I see Young Moves girl, man, Jazriel, and in the beginning of these videos... She wasn't hitting this man, but now that she sees it on the internet and she's almost like in that limelight, like um, she's like hitting dudes, like, you know, like Krishan Rock was beating on Blueface. And when women like Krishan Rock are around putting their hands on a dude, honestly, like you see it on World Star, I'm pretty sure where I'm at, like you go downtown at these clubs. There's a fight breaking out, and it's involving a girl, and she's with, and she's throwing hands at it too, because of like what women like a strong rock, right? That's why I always say, man, you know, 
y'all gotta like stay away from those type of women, man. You know, that's why like these red flags where academics is telling all dudes we I mean, you know, in the RP space, we already know what that is, but you know, he's waking up a lot of men and telling them that, like, you know, shoot, she watched juice, that's a red flag, you know what I'm saying? She got the attitude as a red flag. Now, women could have a right to, um, if they're feeling those disrespect, they have a right to curse. But when they just talking and cursing out their mouth like that on a regular conversation, bro, like that right there, you have to stay far away from. And a lot of men ignore that. I was like, oh, man, forget it, man. Shoot, she still look good. I'm going to hit later on tonight. Oh, man, she do that. And then it goes on and on and on. And you telling your homeboys about it. You know, say you complain your homeboys on, you know, her, her her and her baby daddy be fighting or he ain't nothing. But now you got this stress in your life. I already told you about the dude who um, <laughs> who's going through it with this single woman because of loneliness. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you ignore those red flags. And that's how like a lot of these women are, bro. Yeah, they look good. But, you know, I said on the. Uh, on the outside, she could look good, but how is her soul on the inside? How is her mindset? And if her mindset ain't right, fellas, you know what you have to do. See, like I always tell dudes, you have the power to, like, in the controlling, you have the power to, con to continue to talk to this female or, you know, you have the power to walk away. But most men don't understand that power. They want to keep dealing with it over and over and over with it. Talking about, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll grow eventually, we'll do this, but nah, it's because of, it's her character and it's yours. You tolerating that nonsense. And now, when you tolerate it, now you looking crazy. But meanwhile, if you carry yourself a certain way, you meet um, other women outside of those realms, you know, then you be like at peace. You know, and, and honestly, too, and, and I don't want people to take this the wrong way, but, you know, a lot of the smart brothers, man, you know, what I'm noticing, they kind of, they, they being smart and shying away from it. Because it's like, it's not because they scared, it's just like, why should I do all this when me while I'm growing and building for a future family for a disrespectful woman? That don't make no sense. I'd rather be smart and, and walk away from that. And this is why I tell guys all the time. Don't be like academics hanging with like trash women like Selena Powell, um, trash women like Ari, um, you know, Amber Rose, you know, all these, all these like goofy chicks, like who, who really deep down the side ain't nothing. You know, like I always tell guys all the time, a lot of these chicks ain't nothing, but a lot of men, they want to put up with it because of how, how, how big her uh, booty is, man. And it's not really going to do you no justice. Now, you can get something like that and who is feminine and very respectful in those ways. But got to be smart. Got to be smart in how you, who you choose to be in your life. And also, too, it's that law of attraction, man. You got to be careful of who you bring into your life. Woman with uh, a kid or more or, or two or three kids, man. You already got to know what time it is. Woman with baggage, man, and, you know, trauma, and then she just, she wants to fight a world, man. You already know, you got to know what time it is. Women that play these games, man, you already got to know what time it is, bro. Got to be smart up here. Before, you know, you continue going down that road with this woman who's nothing but your, um, drama. Tell guys all the time, you can't fix every female in the world. Boy, you damn sure as hell can fix your mindset. That's the end of that video, man. Hit the like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.